Hello, everybody. It's uh, the film optimist. Today I'm talking about the piano. The movie tells the story of a mute pianist and her uh, daughter living in New Zealand in the mid 19th century. She's then arranged to marry a wealthy plantation owner but falls in love with a local worker. Outstanding performances by Holly Hunter, Harvey Keitel, Anna Paquin, She's So Little, and Sam Neill. I love this movie, save for awkward sex scenes. Thanks go to Kim Van Alst for requesting this film. That's my mom. Um, my mom says, sad though, isn't it? Um, yeah, it is. Very sad. Um, yeah, she chooses not to speak. Ada McGrath. Did I even say her name? Did I say any character's name? I said the actors and actresses. Ada McGrath is sold by her father into marriage with New Zealand frontiersman Alasdair Stewart, along with her daughter, Flora. Ada has not spoken since age of six, and the reason for this, as well as the identity of Flora's father, remain unknown. She communicates through playing the piano and sign language, with Flora acting as her interpreter. Um, and Ada McGrath is Holly Hunter, right? Um, and... Alice Dare Stewart is Sam Neill. I'm Sam Neill, uh, for those who are unfamiliar with names, aren't, aren't too well-versed in, in actors' names. Um, Jurassic Park guy. He's the, the main guy. Alan something, right? Something like that. He's the main dude in Jurassic Park, the main character. Um, and he comes back for the third one. And the last one that came out, Jurassic World Dominion, I think. Um... Sam Neill's great. Um, and Harvey Keitel is amazing as well. And he plays uh, George Baines. George Baines, um, Aiden Floor, along with their handcrafted piano, are stranded on a New Zealand beach by a ship's crew. The next day, Alizair arrives with his Ma Maori crew. Ma it's Maori, right? Maori crew and neighbor uh, George Baines, a retired sailor who's adapted to Maori customs, including facial tattoos. Alice Dare tells Ada that they don't have enough bearers for the piano and then refuses to go back for it, claiming that they all need to make sacrifices. Desperate to retrieve her piano, Ada seeks George's help. Although he can't read her note, he is entranced by her music and agrees to help her. Yeah, he can't read. Uh, George offers Alice Dare the land he's been coveting in exchange, in exchange for the piano and Ada's lessons. Alice Dare agrees, oblivious to George's attraction to Ada, and then they get together and, yeah, it's, there's stuff that happens. I think I watched this... Again, uh, with my wife, um, yeah, it's super depressing. Um, it's sad, but you know, it's 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 actually a happy ending. No, it's actually a happy ending. Um, yeah, spoiler alert. I'm gonna talk about the ending. I'm gonna talk about the the ending of this film. Um. Um, yeah, so he, she falls for George. She doesn't like I was there. You know, remember, she was sold into marriage to this douchebag. And he's he's a dick. He he, he just wanted to get rid of the piano. And George is a sweetheart. He saves the piano for her. Um, uh, Ada instructs Flora to deliver a package to George which contains a piano key with a love declaration engraved on it. Flora delivers it to Alice Dare instead. Why would you do that? Anna Paquin, why would you do that? Flora, Ada's daughter. Anna Paquin, why would you do that? Enraged after reading the message, Alice Dare cuts off Ada's index finger, depriving her of the ability to play the piano. He sends Flora to George with a severed finger, warning him to stay away from Ada or he will chop off more fingers. Later, while touching Ada as she sleeps, Alice Dare hears what he thinks is her voice in his head, asking him to let George take her away. He goes to George's house and asks if Ada has ever spoken to him, but George says no. George and Ada leave together with her belongings and piano tied onto a Ma Maori longboat. As they row to the ship, Ada asks George to throw the piano overboard. She allows her leg to be caught by the rope attached to the piano and is dragged underwater with it in an attempt to drown herself. As she sinks, she appears to change her mind and struggles free before being pulled to safety. In the epilogue, Ada describes her new life with George and Flora in Nelson, New Zealand, where she gives piano lessons in their new home. George has made her a metal finger to replace the one she lost. The one she lost. The one that was taken from her by her crazy-ass husband. And Ada has been practicing and taking speech lessons. She sometimes dreams of the piano resting at the bottom of the ocean with her still, with her still tethered to it. So it's bittersweet. It's depressing. Um, 
This is this an Academy Award winning film? This did it win awards? Uh, Best Actress for Holly Hunter, um, three Academy Awards. Um, Best Supporting Actress, Best Original Screenplay, Best Supporting Actress for Anna Paquin. Paquin was 11 years old at the time and remains the second youngest actor to win an Oscar in the competitive co- category. It's crazy. Um, the film won the Palme d'Or, Palme de Palme d'Or, at the Cannes Film Festival. Yeah, that's pretty dope. Um, beautiful, beautiful film. Just absolutely beautiful. You guys have a wonderful day, and uh, take care.